What's up, everybody? Joe Ferraro here from Fightful.com with a segment this week that I'm calling Do Something About It. And it brings me to our UFC 213 headliner, Amanda Nunes, the women's bantamweights champion, who I believe is a freaking superstar waiting to explode. Why? She's already defeated an Olympic wrestling medalist in Sarah McMahon. She's been on a Conor McGregor pay-per-view. She annihilated Misha Tate to win the title and then destroys Ronda Rousey afterwards. She has everything surrounding her to become a, a, an absolute superstar. Transplanted Brazilian, now living in the States, an immigrant. You know, she's openly gay. I would love to see the LGBT community and her sort of come up with a partnership, uh, the UFC get involved. I mean, she's a superstar, in my opinion, waiting to explode. She deserves a lot more, but her window is small. In, in mixed martial arts, athletes in general, your window is small to maximize the revenue from your brand. I firmly believe that she needs to figure out, her and her people need to figure out some way to get something done about it before it's too late. You just never know how long you're going to be a champion for. Anything can happen. Injury and training. Knock on wood, I'm not trying to ruin her karma, her karma, but... Something needs to get done. I believe she's a superstar waiting to happen. I see her all the time when I'm doing Titan FC events. She commands the room. I just wish there was just more that could be done with her to make her more of a superstar. Brings me over to Luke Rockhold, who arguably, in my opinion, may be the best middleweight in the world. Now, he did lose the title. He recently stated um, you know, that the middleweight division sucks right now. The matchups suck. I don't think I agree with that you know, wholeheartedly. Uh, but he's injured. He's been on the sidelines. He's talking, which is fine. The bottom line is he's got to do something about it. He's got to get back into the cage when he's healthy. He's got to kick some ass, get that title back. Because let's be honest, he lost that title to Michael Bisping. Bisping then defends against Dan Henderson. The UFC granted him that. And he hasn't competed since, whether it's because of injuries, whether it's because of the whole George St. Pierre situation. Luke Rockhold, you got to get in the cage, kick some ass, get that belt back, and do something about it. And speaking of doing something about it in a weird sort of way, I'm sure you all heard by now Ronda Rousey's house recently got robbed. Travis Brown, her fiancé, found out who it was, a bunch of kids at a, at a skate park. They, he saw the security footage, goes to the skate park, sees them there, doesn't do anything about it other than calls the cops. We all know what happens after that. Uh, Ronda Rousey basically said she would love if their sentencing was five minutes with her. Cruel and unusual punishment, yes, I, I I understand that, but imagine five minutes with her and five minutes with Travis Brown, and let him... Anyways, I'm just being sarcastic and facetious. Uh, lots to talk about this week, or this weekend. Tough 25 finale uh, goes down Friday night in Vegas, followed by UFC 213, the pay-per-view going down in Vegas as well, Saturday night. Sean Ross Sapp and I will have a full recap after UFC 213 is done. We will cover both events, recap it, uh, and talk about the biggest stories coming out of both events. We hope all of you and your friends can, en can enjoy watching us two idiots uh, make a mockery of mixed martial arts and have a good time and, and really get in there with the analysis on Saturday night after the pay-per-view. Looking forward to hearing and seeing all of you then.